on my recent trip to Ireland, I got to go see all the cool things that you would expect to see in Ireland. But on top of that, I got to check out some of the culinary scene too. One of the places I enjoyed most was behind Russell's Saloon. Now Russell's is a well-known bar in Dundalk, Ireland, which is my mother's hometown, small town about an hour's north of Dublin. But behind Russell's is where some of the magic really lies. Shaky Bill's is their speakeasy. In this speakeasy, Aaron Mulligan, manager at the establishment, is also one of Ireland's best cocktail curators. So this man, the cocktail chef, was kind enough to walk me through and share with me one of his favorite cocktails. Yeah, so this cocktail is a uh, Picasso. Um, it originated in the, uh, the Lane Wheel Lounge in Australia. Um, it's a twist on a classic cocktail called the Sazerac. Uh, the Sazerac originated in France but moved over to New Orleans where they switched the cognac out for a bourbon. Um, I like to keep everything a little bit vintage so I took it back to the cognac. Uh, the cocktail itself is created with um, Hennessy, which I like to use because of the Irish roots. The uh, Richard Hennessy um, moved to France to join the French Foreign Legion. After that, uh, ended up uh, producing his own cognac, which is what we have today. Uh, so it's Hennessy VSOP, uh, cacao, uh, Pichar bitters, um, chocolate bitters. Uh, with an absent rinse and a chocolate paint on the side of the glass. Uh, the cocktail itself is um, paired with three different types of chocolate. Each chocolate is um, supposedly to change the flavour of the drink as you're, as you're drinking the cocktail itself. All right, so first up is the, it's a white chocolate. So what, what notes would I get from this? Yeah, um, when you're drinking the cocktail, after you've uh, had the white chocolate, you should get all the, the, the lighter flavors like vanilla and things like that and with the white chocolate. Um, with the more milk chocolatey flavors, you should get um, some like uh, caramel kind of uh, flavors from that. And then the dark chocolate takes out all the dried fruits and stuff. That white one really does bring out the sweet flavors, like the vanilla. It changes the taste yeah, it just kind of entirely. It, it just makes it a little bit sweeter and just brings you out just different notes of the cocktail as well. Right, so with the cool. absinthe, and then you've got the milk chocolate one. So that should take out like it's more of the caramel flavors, the darker tones, the hard, the heavier sugars, and things like this. Once again, that's James the yeah. Entire taste of the cocktail. Yeah, because, it, because it's coating your mouth, it, you're getting that oil kind mm -hmm. of uh, coating around it. So after when the alcohol passes through, the ethanol, the, fla the flavor of the alcohol kind of just opens up a little bit more and takes some of that on the way down. Mm, science and cocktails, huh? Yeah, yeah. We try our best. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, so dark chocolate. You said this one's going to bring out the real fruity notes. Yeah, the real fruity notes like the apricot, dried fruits, things like this. And Game on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Science in making your alcoholic beverages. That is a good cocktail. 